So Lancome is hitting us this year with one release after another and all with this beachy vibe and I'm all for it. So today we are going to discuss the newest release from Lancome and this is from the Idol line and this is Idol Aura. I did a first impression which I will leave linked up here if you want to watch it and since then I continued to play with it and today I am going to tell you my final thoughts about this fragrance so a full review we are going to go through notes um, uh, longevity sillage uh, my final recommendation and personal opinion and I will also uh, go through a full comparison between this one and uh, the two previous uh, idols and other fragrances that can be compared to this one so if you want to know everything about Idol Aura, then please continue watching. And before we start, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Nura and on this channel I do a lot of fragrance reviews. I also do some uh, lifestyle, so makeup, skincare, uh, so these kind of stuff. So if this is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification button so you will get notified when I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's start this video. So Idol Aura is a beautiful, salty vanilla rose fragrance. So imagine the original Idol, so a musky fresh rose and uh, just amp up the vanilla. And for good measures, let's amp it up even more and sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. This is how I would describe this fragrance. It opens up with a very fresh, rose with a little bit of vanilla so you don't get the mask very much you don't get the clean vibe that the original one has it's very yeah it's a very fresh rose with a little bit of vanilla in it i absolutely adore the opening then you will start to notice the jasmine so the jasmine starts to peek through but it doesn't take over the rose for me the predominant note at least in the opening is the rose and with time you will get a little bit of a clean vibe but it's nothing comparable with the original one and with time it will get warmer and warmer and the vanilla really dominates the fragrance so in the very dry down it's mostly vanilla with a little bit of rose and jasmine and a hint of salt so it's not a very salty vanilla. You can smell the salt here, but it's not overpowering. It's just a hint of salt, which I find absolutely gorgeous. It makes this fragrance um, very refined, let's say. So the beachy vibe of this fragrance, you will get more uh, towards the dry down. So imagine uh, your favorite salty vanilla fragrance and make it more refined with the added rose and jasmine and the overall composition. Now let's talk about the notes and I doubt that the notes that are uh, on Fragrantica are the only ones present in this fragrance but yeah anyway uh, just putting it out there. So in the top you have salt and rose and in the mid you have the jasmine and in the base you have musk and vanilla. So you can definitely smell all these notes here. As I said, you have mostly the vanilla and then rose and then jasmine and then the salt and you get a little bit of a hint of musk but it's really in the background. It gives a little bit of a clean vibe to the fragrance. Performance-wise, uh, Idol Aura, I would say, has a good longevity, so it stayed for about six hours uh, before becoming a skin scent, and I would say has an average sillage. So it's not your heavy hitter, it's not a beast mode fragrance. So if I had to compare it uh, in, in terms of performance with the two original ones, I would put it in the middle. Although there is not a big difference anyway uh, between them, but yeah, I would put it in the middle between these two. So if you are familiar with the original ones, you know how it will perform at least on my skin. Now, if you want to compare uh, the new one to the two original ones, I would say it has nothing to do with the intense version because the intense version has more of an amped up jasmine 
uh, if you want to compare it with the original one and really for me the jasmine in aura is it's not the predominant note it's a little bit in the background you get a little bit tiny 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 bit of resemblance with this one maybe in the mid try down but not much so i would say it's more similar to the original one than uh, the intense one uh, but they are still different so imagine it like that Ta take the original one if you are familiar with it so a musky rose and then like put an overdose of vanilla in it with a sprinkle of salt this is uh, exactly how i would do a comparison between these two so they are different and and for me, it's not redundant to have the aura added if, uh, to your idol collection if you have both of them or one. They are different enough. Now let's talk about fragrances that can be compared to idol aura. And the first fragrance that came to my mind when I first tested it in the store was a Paco Rabanne Olympia. I don't know why I didn't test it like do a comparison uh, in the store because I don't own Paco Rabanne Olympia but anyway this is what happened and unfortunately I checked all the stores around um, my area like where I live and no one has a tester so um, take my comparison with a grain of salt this is what I remember uh, Paco Rabanne Olympia smells like so to me from what I remember um, they have the same, of course, salty vanilla vibe to them, but Paco Rabanne was more dense and more warm and less refined. So although for me they have the same vibe, they are different. Uh, and if I have to choose, I will definitely choose it all aura. The added rose and the whole composition, it's much, much, much more refined in my opinion. Although the uh, performance wise, I would say uh, Paco Rabanne Olympia has a better performance again from what I remember. Another fragrance that I think has a little bit of similarities with this one is another Lancôme and a recent uh, release. And I'm talking about Lancôme Lanny Trésor Nude. Uh, this came out last year, if I don't, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So they are not dupes, and they, and I couldn't even say they are similar, but they have a very similar vibe. Of course, uh, La Nuit Trésor Nude is more uh, beachy vibe in the sense it has coconut in it, and if you smell it like on paper or from the bottle, you will say they have nothing in common apart from like the beachy vibe. But on my skin, at least, I get a lot of resemblance. So, uh, although um, I don't know how, but they really remind me of each other on my skin. Uh, I would say it's like 60-65% of similarities on my skin. They have the same vibe somehow. But again, for me, in my opinion, Idol Aura is more refined and also is more fresh. La Nuit Trésor Nude is very dense, uh, very creamy also from the coconut. Uh, so, for example, I would wear Idol Aura during the summer, but I really can't wear La Nuit Trésor Nude during summer. I know a lot of people wear coconut uh, fragrances in summer and they are okay with it. I personally can't because it's too cloying, too suffocating for me. And since we are talking about uh, flankers from Lancôme, uh, just putting it out there, it has nothing to do with La Vie Belle Soleil Cristal. Although a lot of people compare uh, La Nuit Trésor Nude with uh, La Vie Belle Soleil Cristal, if we compare Soleil Cristal with Idol Aura, they have nothing in common. Totally different fragrances. Uh, but I do get the resemblance between uh, Soleil Crystal and La Nuit Trésor Nude, by the way. But if we compare it with uh, Idol Aura, nothing in common, in my opinion. Another fragrance that I have that has this salty vanilla is a Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. Although, again, a salty vanilla, but I really can't compare it with Idol Aura because this is, again, um, warmer, denser and has more salt. It has uh, much more salt and has a more warm base because I think that there was tonka in here and some woody notes. So it has a very warm base that Idol Aura doesn't have. 
it remains fresh because of the musk touch to it and also the rose of course which vanilla vibes doesn't have so again if you are wondering it has nothing to do with Julie Tazigan vanilla vibes so overall I really really like this fragrance and as I said if you already own uh, the two previous ones you can get this one uh, it's not uh, they are different enough so you can get also the Idol Aura now if you don't have any Idols and you're wondering which one to get I would say if you are looking for a versatile rosy fragrance that is a little bit like signature worthy um, overall all-rounder fragrance and get the original one this is a rose this is a musky rose with a touch of fruitiness and if you are looking for an intense version with more jasmine than rose I would say go with the intense version and if you are looking for a beachy summer rose vanilla fragrance then get Idol Aura and I would say Idol Aura is suitable for all ages like all of them actually are suitable for all ages but these have a little bit of a mature vibe to them while Idol Aura with the salty vanilla can be also suitable for younger generation now will I buy it? Uh, I have to say I think no although I'm really tempted and this is not because I don't like it as you can see I really like it and I actually prefer it to the previous ones and if you saw my collection video where I did a declutter you will know I actually decluttered these two I just brought them up to show you and do a comparison even these are not bad I decluttered them mainly because I'm a little bit bored with rose and maybe a half a year ago I will be a head over heels uh, with Idol Aura and I would definitely buy it without any hesitation but since then number one I bought Juliet Hazagan Vanilla Vibes and although they are different but I don't need to in my collection and I became a little bit picky also because I am testing so many fragrances niche and designer it's like an explosion of uh, of different fragrances and I just can't buy a fragrance because I like it or I really really like it otherwise my house will be full of fragrances and since I did my declutter I just not, I don't want just to add fragrances I want to think hard about each and every fragrance that I add to my collection so this is why I think I will not buy it I may change my mind in the future very could be but for now it's not on my wish list so that was everything I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful and if you did please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel I do a lot of fragrance reviews and I have quite exciting videos coming very soon so stay tuned and make sure to hit that notification bell thanks a lot for watching and see you next time ciao